Welcome back. We'll be looking at another density problem today. It's kind of a difficult one, so you will probably need to pause a few times and just think and reflect on what I'm trying to tell you. But here's the problem. We have a column made of cement and iron, and there's a volume for the column, 1.4 cubic meters, and it has a mass, 7.2 tons. Now, our problem is going to be how much iron do we need in kilograms to make 36 such columns. Now we're given other information. I'm going to tidy this up a bit and let's draw a picture. So we have a column and we know some things about it. We're given this. And when you solve these kind of problems, draw a picture. Then write down what you know. Okay, we are given this. And I want you to use units. It's very important. Use the proper symbols too. Now, since we're given that, uh, we can imply some, some things. W one thing I need to do is find the density of the column. So let's do that. All right. How did I find the density of it? I simply took this information and followed what row is supposed to be. It's mass divided by volume. So we know the mass, that's 7.2, and then you divide it by the 1.4, and then you get the 5,143 kilos. So 5,143 kilos for every cubic meter. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty high density. That's going to be a heavy column. Um, it's part iron, part cement. Now, we don't know yet what's what. Have you noticed how I put these little letters down by the row for the density? Okay, the one was for cement. The cement is yellow. The iron is blue. And then the combined uh, column, that's going to be red. All right, let's, let's do some things. I need to show you what I, how I am thinking. We're going to need an equation. We're going to need to use x. And I need to tell you what x is and how we're going to use it. X will be cubic meters. It'll be, for example, we'll, we'll be looking at this, all right, and we'll say, okay, to get one cubic meter of this, we're going to need X cubic meters of concrete and X minus one cubic meters of iron or something to that effect. There are several ways to do this. I'll just show you my way. Um, now, what that means is, we have to understand what density is and how to use it. And we'll be saying x cubic meters times the density of what it is we're looking at will then show up like this. All right. See how the units t are going to take each other out here. You have cubic meters up here because it's x cubic meters of something times the density. See, this, this is the density. And look at how the units, sorry, I shouldn't have crossed out the kilograms there. Look how the units take each other out there. The cubic meters kill off the cubic meters and you're left with x kilograms. Okay? See how that works there? That is our idea and we're going to use that in an equation. I'll take away the things there on the right. I just wanted you to understand what x is. Alright? So, when we have an equation, let's try to break this down and see if we can make sense of it. Because this is how I'm thinking. I'm thinking, since this is a volume, and we multiply it by a density, and this, here's the, the cement, okay? So a certain amount, a certain volume of cement times the density gives you kilograms. All right? We, we've done those kind of problems. Now we look at this other one. What is this 1 minus x? And why is it 1 minus x? Well, if we are thinking in terms of one cubic meter, and, and that's what I'm going to do, use. I'm going to use the density of the column. That's how I'm thinking. And I'm saying, okay, let's, let's just say it, it gets divided up like that. And this much of the column is iron, and the rest is going to be cement. If I say it's one column, and it, or if I'm saying it's one cubic meter, in other words, this then we have a certain amount of that, a, a certain fraction of one, which will be cement, and the other fraction will be 
the whole minus what isn't the cement. That can be difficult to follow, I know. So if you're having a hard time with this, just pause. But remember that I'm using one cubic meter of the column. In this case, I'm not using the whole column, but we could have, but it would be a little more complicated. I want to use one cubic meter of column substance. And that means that we'll have a certain percentage here and the rest there. Cement and iron. All right, let's take the next step. When that's done, I will substitute in the density. That's what I'm doing here. See, that's the cement, and now we have it there. I'm not going to use the units on the left side. My scene is small, and it just gets really messy. But remember that x times density uh, is is giving us the kilograms. All right, that's that's why the left or the right side here still has kilograms. So I'm simply replacing these things. See that? That goes where the blue is. The yellow goes right there. Okay, and I'm using this density. I'm saying one cubic meter. All right, <laughs> now it's messy. You need to clean it up again. All right, so we have one cubic meter of substance, whereas we have a certain amount of that cubic meter is cement, and the other amount uh, is iron. Okay, and all together, it adds up to the mass that we have here on the right. All right, next step. Now, when we multiply x times 34, it's just standard praxis to, to write it like this, okay? And then we have the 1 times the 7,900. That's where that came from. Then we have, now look at this. It's negative x times 7,900. That's why we have that there, okay? If you need to pause, just do that. I know you may need to watch this more than once. All right, let's take the next step. Now we're going to try to isolate all the x terms and and then all the numbers will go to the right side so that's what i'm doing here so far i have left this alone and this alone but this guy is going to go over there all right so let me let me take the next step now after you balance all these out you'll see that um, we're going to have a simple thing here on the left times x and then just a number. Don't be concerned that it's negative. We, we have two negatives on both sides. Had I instead chosen to rearrange this beginning one to say maybe this would be over here and the x over there, I would have ended up with a positive. But it doesn't matter. It's still going to be positive when we're done. You'll see. All right, here we have negative 4,500x, and that's equal to negative 2,757. So we have to divide both sides by negative 4,500. Now, here we go. Let's do that. And then we get what x is. Okay. So let's, let's isolate this. I'm going to clean up everything and leave the first line here. I'm going to leave that and then take this with us. So that's what I'm doing. I only have about the size of half a page. So, <laughs> okay. That's what we just found out. Now we know what x is. Now, what does that mean? Remember, I told you that this whole thing was for one cubic meter of the column because we know what the density of one cubic meter is. That's here. Of that cubic meter, 61% is concrete. And that means 39% is iron. See that? If x is 0.61, then 1 minus x is 0.39, okay? So every column is 39% iron by volume and 61% concrete, okay? So now we can use this knowledge to set up one more equation so we can find out just how much iron there will be for 36 columns. Okay, that's what that is. Let me just take it one more time. 39% iron for all the columns because they're all made the same way. Each column has this for a volume. See, that's where that came from. Okay, if one, one column was one cubic meter, it, it would be a one there instead. If each one was two cubic meters, it would be a, 
a 2 right here, okay? But it's still, each one, by ratio, 39%. So, that means we have 19.5 cubic meters of iron. Okay, let's, let's continue. Now that we know that, we need to think, we need to think like this. The, the question was, how many kilograms of iron are there? We found out the volume of iron. That's a good thing to know because we're given the density. And what is the density times the volume? Remember how the cubic meters take each other out. Let me show you that more slowly, not as messy, okay? See, 19 and a half cubic meters times 7,900 kilograms per cubic meter, the cubic meters cancel out and you're left with just the kilograms. That's what this is. So about 154 tons of iron is what we would need to order, okay? And when you show me the answer, you just give, us, give me something like this, okay? Now, I know that was a lot to follow, and this is a rather difficult one, but just play it a few times, pause, write it down, try to keep track of all the, the units. That's really important. Okay, hope that helps. See you next time.